Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you the whole process of how I made this daily design, which I believe is number 680. So if you're interested in knowing how I made all these effects, uh, just follow along in the video and uh, yeah, it's pretty straightforward. Let's jump right into it. So I'm going to start off with the pen tool and I'm just going to make a selection of whatever shape I want to put in there. I want this like cone shape so that's what I went for. I'm now adjusting that little angle dot because I want it to hang precisely on a corner of my artboard and I'm gonna go to make a selection and I'll fill it in with white for now. Next up we're gonna go to the filter blur Gaussian blur and we're gonna add about 20 pixels of blur at least that's what I was going for and then make that a little bigger just so, just so you don't really see the edges. And then I duplicate my layer and go to Filter, Blur, Radial Blur, and I'll add some radial blur. Here's what it looks like without the copy underneath it. And to the top layer, I'm gonna add a layer mask because I don't really want it to be that blurry on the cone side. I don't know if I'm explaining myself, but I want the blur only to be in the wider part. So that's why I'm removing a little bit of the blur in the little angle part. And I'll duplicate the blurry layer again, and I'm gonna reduce that even more. As you can see, my brush wasn't at full opacity. Uh, that's why I made various copies of them. And uh, then it's time to add my text. And now I spent a little time playing around with positioning, placement, and how to structure the sentence I want to go with, if I want it to be one full sentence. Uh, but then ultimately I decided to separate almost each and every single word. So what I'm doing here is just writing my text, then duplicating it and uh, writing the next part of the sentence I'm going to use. Uh, and I kind of like the not so perfect, uh, like perfectly placed, not aligned, and a little randomly placed text. So that's what I was going with. And I kind of liked there to be some text in this ray of light and some of the text outside of the ray of light. So we're obviously going to invert the colors for the part that's onto the black background. So I really, like, I really liked where this was going. So the part on the black background was aligned and the other part is like all messy. And uh, then I go to the adjustments tab and add a gradient map. And here as well, I spent a little time in trying to understand the colors I want to use and the placement of them on the gradient map. So as you can see, the colors on the left hand side will affect the dark parts of your artwork and the parts on the, the, the colors on the right hand side instead will affect the light colors. So here I'm testing out different color combinations, but I guess I kind of wanted to stay more true to like dark and light. So I kept it at a simple dark background with a lighter yellowish ray of light. I then merge uh, my layers all together and I add a little bit of noise. Finally, I just add my textures in there and we're done. Let me know if you liked this design and if there's other ones from my daily designs that you'd like to see the tutorial or walkthrough of, feel free to subscribe and to follow me on Instagram where I post these actual daily designs and I'm almost at day 700. So approaching the two year mark, which is crazy. Um, but yeah, I'll leave all the links to my gradient map packs and texture packs in the description down below. So go take a look at those. There's also some free ones in there. 
And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you soon. Bye.